Today I'm going to share a small tutorial on Snapseed. It's regarding the perspective correction. So let's let's start going to the tools. But before we do the perspective correction, I would like to tune this image just a little bit. So do the brightness a little bit low, contrast a little bit high, saturation increase by 10 the ambience increase by 10 or maybe 15 and highlight reduce the highlight and the shadow correction a little bit minus 9 and the warmth okay <clears throat> so it looks much better than the previous one now i would like i, I will go to the tools again and start using the perspective so this perspective option provides you to correct the perspective as you can see like these are very much tilted and not looking very nice there are four options it has provided uh, like so one is tilt rotate scale and free but i'm going to select here free because all the uh, corners are like tilted and we need to correct all and those should be freely so first I'm going to pick the right right bottom right corner and I'm going to it is going to go towards right side and uh, move it until the leading lines match with the corner of the frame and same you can do with the left side scenario okay but still the image is not good and now we need to work on the upper body so we, we we can go to the upper right corner and squeeze it inwards maybe a little more yeah and same we need to do the left corner now as you can see it has started becoming nice but uh, the void provide void uh, created by the perspective correction it has tried to fill with the pixels of the frame so basically why it is doing that because i have selected it as smart this is also a by default option and uh, you can choose the white one so now you can see how it has done see, uh, and little bit left and little bit right side as well and the, if you press black so this this also has done the same same way so basically keep selecting keep select the smart one and then you can press the tick now but the image is still not looking very nice because of this smart correction so go again in the tools go to the crop option and we are going to crop it like this and we are going to match the corners with the leading lines and your image is ready now we will see the difference between before and after do the long press this is before this is after this is before this is after you can see just like uh you is i have spent like two to three minutes on doing this correction and the image is already looking very very nice so why we had to do this because we cannot go in the middle of the frame and click uh, by a camera until unless we have a selfie stick or maybe a drone so the perspective correction is much more needed in this frame and it's quite big and we want to show it like we have captured it from the middle of the frame okay I hope you enjoyed this video and you are going to correct your images by this option and uh, okay have a good have a good day bye bye see you in my next video